Yo, what's up guys? While I was just recording the last video about AGI, this article actually popped up. Circle CEO urges for globally coordinated cryptocurrency regulations. Now this is an interesting tidbit because Circle is actually owned by Goldman Sachs, right? If you recall, if you go to Google and just type in uh, Goldman Sachs and Circle, and you will find something quite interesting here. Goldman Sachs backed Circle Invest app launches. Goldman Sachs backed introducing crypto a US dollar. Ooh, Goldman Sachs backed startup Circle introducing a crypto US dollar. Wow, 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 wow. US based Goldman Sachs backed crypto giant Circle seeks a US banking license. All right, so get this. So this article comes out that the Circle CEO urges for globally coordinated cryptocurrency regulations. Isn't that interesting, right? So Goldman Sachs, who really owns Circle, is now calling for globally coordinated gr uh, cryptocurrency regulations. Now, we also see that recently in the last like week, multiple stable coins have been created, right? Goldman Sachs is introducing Circle is introducing the crypto US dollar. Well, what happened just a few days ago? Um, let's see. US dollar uh, token coin uh, launch. Check this out. So a few days ago, breaking crypto giants Coinbase and Circle launch digital dollar USDC, which is a stable coin, essentially converting the US dollar into a cryptocurrency asset called the USDC token, right? So they're essentially taking the US monetary system, the dollars, quote unquote, that we have in the economy, they're now digitizing them on the blockchain in the form of USDC. Crypto, uh, sorry, crypto, sorry, hit Coinbase and Circle have recently launched that, all right? So now let's go back to Circle CEO urges for globally coordinated cryptocurrency regulations. Guys, what I am telling you here is that something is a brewing behind the scenes in the global cryptocurrency markets. And I say that because it's quite ironic that uh, Goldman Sachs is now getting in or has been getting into cryptocurrency. They bought Polynex. They, they started Circle. Um, they created their own coin called the USDC coin uh, that now is equivalent to one US dollar. They're trying to crack the cryptocurrency code and trying to make it controllable, right? We've talked for a very long time how Bitcoin and blockchain make it so that central banks, so that governments cannot control monetary systems. Uh, fiat does, uh, central banks print fiat currencies and whatnot. But the whole notion of blockchain and cryptocurrency and money becoming digital in this way is that the government can't control it. Well, what would they do if they knew that they were going to lose control of the global monetary system um, through cryptocurrencies or because of cryptocurrencies, the fiat you know, cash system would essentially collapse? They're going to try everything in the book that they can to stop that from happening, right? Um, so first we had Bitcoin Core come and hijack BTC through Blockstream, right? And trying to kind of curb uh, Bitcoin from being able to grow, intentionally sabotaging it by creating a, light, a side chain um, called the Lightning Network. Now we have, gosh, this happening, what I just explained. I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. The CEO of Investment Applications Circle has urged at national regulators to develop coordinated legislation for the field of cryptocurrencies. The move follows the FATF decision to issue new rules regarding the regulations of digital currencies. Um, let's see, national regulations. Ultimately, there needs to be a normalization at the G20 level of crypt critical crypto-related regulatory matters. This is so that the world can, can really, the worldwide governments can gain a handle on these cryptocurrencies and what's actually happening in the monetary system Today, fiat currencies are, are dying and, and everybody knows that. And they're calling for these coordinated regulatory kind of efforts um, because of what's happening. I'm advocating the same approach to cryptocurrencies 
and all things having to do with the new digital revolution of markets and of currencies and of asset classes, okay? Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, thought that was quite interesting. Think for yourself what that means. I would not be let, let stand in the ball here, uh, left behind. Things are changing, things are changing. The world's a changing, the economy's a changing, and uh, this is writing on the wall, guys. <laughs> Watch out.